out everybody welcome back today guys to the channel Gran Turismo Sport we're back today taking a look at the newest update update 1.41 came out July 31st five new cars added in Jaguar D-Type Mazda Roadster Touring Car Honda S800 Civic Type R man the EK the Porsche 911 Turbo 930 man now all five of these cars are really excited to drive now there was also a brand new kind of time attack mode that came in sport mode right here so time trial has been added to sport mode look for various events to be featured in time trial now i do believe they have featured a brand new car with the nuremberg ring it's a perfect test of skill man honestly i haven't played gt sport on a controller for a very long time so i do hope i can hang in there and run with the pack now we do have an s800 right here this thing's pretty cool it's small compact 911 turbo man 1981 this thing is beautiful, almost kind of looks like the one that we just drove in Forza Horizon 4, which was the LEGO DLC, the uh, 1974 Turbo. Mazda Roadster Touring Car, also brand new to the game. I love how they showcase this actual DLC pack right here. We get a quick look at everything. I don't know what car we're going to be driving at the ring. It may be the Type R. I think I've seen it as a Civic Type R, but EK Type R. Oh man, I can't wait for that. Nice old championship white. And I do believe right here, open time qualifiers with the Porsche and the Civic at Willow Springs. So let's do the Porsche first here. 911 Turbo, time until rankings close, 12 days. Let's see who's up top here. Dual wield, 911 Turbo, 801. Oh man, that's a fast time. Can I see replay? Oh, I can. Let's watch it. We're gonna watch the fastest man in the game right here. Man's on a flying lap right now, coming around using every inch of the road, even the strips on the side. This is going to be a tough time to beat. 801, man. If we can even get in, um, you know, close to an 8, I will be happy. But if I'm high 8s, right, maybe high 8s, you got to be consistent throughout the entire thing, and that's the thing. Now, I don't know if we're going to get a dirty lap if we hit the grass at all, but I'm hoping just to stay on the... Okay, no, this guy's damn two-wheeling on the grass. We should be okay, but driving damn well good he does look like he's on a controller i can see the twitch in the wheel i don't think that's a wheel setup but if you guys are driving any of these events leave me your time down below and if you are using a controller or wheel setup would love to know um, i need to get my wheel working on the playstation again i ended up taking down that thrustmaster tgt and i need to get it back up there look at this guy aggressive man i like it though he is just whipping it around here okay so obviously we're gonna need to be fast to make this happen, man. Yeah, right there, coming out max speed, man. Oh, wow. Beautiful hold. I don't even know what tire compound I'm gonna run on this. Maybe racing hards, I guess, or softs. Geez, look at that, man. It makes it look so easy, but it's not going to be. Okay, so maximum tire is comfort soft. So we have to be on comfort soft. Qualifying time, man. There are no cars. Oh, damn, I have, I have to own the car first. Okay, well, that makes sense, right? I mean, we gotta buy the DLC before we can drive the DLCs. Oh, wow. Now it says it's updated. Look at that. I was looking for you before, man. I was trying to explain to everybody, you know, the cars and everything. Brand new track. Uh, I didn't even know there was a new track in here. Added to the circuit experience. Sardegna. Sardegna? Damn, I'm terrible. I'm sorry. Oh. Let's take a quick look at Sardegna first, right? Before we get right into it, I want to just kind of, you know, get a feel for it first before I dive into this here. I think I'm going to run the white. The blue's super nice. So is the black, though. Look at that coming around. Nothing beats seeing the cars just cruising in these menus. No other game has done it like Gran Turismo has. And they, right, oh my God, I cannot wait for the next one. I don't know when or, you know, how long it's gonna be till we get it. And I know that's a long ways ahead, but just think whenever we have the next Gran Turismo installment, it's going to be insane, right? Especially on the next gen console, I'm assuming it, you know, this is gonna get updated for probably about a good year or so, maybe two years until the newest one comes out right, that's just my prediction but i'd love to know yours down below when are we going to get another gran turismo sardegna it's like it's my damn dog okay here we go yeah yeah track a oh look at this one windmills that looks fun oh so does this one here road track b looks pretty fun let's do this one here first okay it's been a bit since we've played especially on the controller and i kind of Jeez, oh, I just locked it up already. Yeah, time number two. <laughs> Let's see how I do, man. I can't leave that. They sent me into a corner that I need to break on, pretty much. Like, look at this. That's greasy. Time number three. I got it. I got it. Okay, it's just a little bit harder. And I'm barely even... I felt like I wasn't even on my brakes, but look at this shit. I'm not a big fan of these PlayStation damn triggers. I'll tell you that right now. Maybe, maybe 
at this thing, man. It's so slippery. Oh, oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, yeah, this is fun. Excuse me, sir. Jesus, man. 2020 Supra. Looks sick, though. I love seeing that in the game. I totally forgot that Gran Turismo had it first. Pretty sure they were first. I was actually surprised that uh, Forza didn't do anything with it. At least yet, anyways. I'm sure licensing and stuff, but... Ooh, she rips! Just stay on throttle. Remember, rear engine? Oh, yeah. This is so much fun, man. I forgot how much fun this game is on the controller. Really, though. Just make sure you do not over-brake, which I keep wanting to do. Man, if this was on the wheel right now, I don't know if I'd be doing trash or just as good. I really don't. Sometimes this game is just, it's super hard on the wheel. Damn! Feel that in top 10 drifts, man. Getting the hang of the braking here. You really got to be just so easy on it. If not, tap the e-brake a couple times and let it come out with you. Can't see a damn thing in there, man. Why is it so dark? Third gear whipping it around. No, no. I think we're going to have a pretty damn good run on this. Especially because this car is just, it's not bad stock, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time with this right now. I'm going to try for a huge whip. I know it's probably not going to happen, but. You never know. Handbrake. Whoa. Yep. It's too much whip. Okay. This is where we started to get a little bit uh, swirly with it. You know, could see what I can and can't do with it. And, right? It, it was a very surprisingly good car just locking them up jesus where's that water from fia truck simulator right i mean that would have been perfect spray the brakes down i'm excited to take on the ring right now obviously we're going to be going for more speed but you know if i get a little bit sideways who's going to be upset right? we're here to drive and have fun man if i don't come in you know first 1000 i don't know i probably won't to be honest with you but we'll see here 295 the following items will be adjusted automatically based on bop regulation so uh the race is 100 percent bop Weight 100%, 295, comfort hards. Oh, okay, okay, we had comfort hards on, comfort softs. We need to go at 106 weight. We're keeping the same horsepower. So we do have the same vehicle. We're not even upgrading it. Dude, I like the one makes, man. This is a one make sport time trial event. Here on the ring, we're gonna have to throw down a pretty damn good lap, man. Let's make it happen. Lap doesn't start yet, let's just heat the brakes up. I am happy that we're not adding any more power to it. Because obviously this thing is already pretty slippery as it is. And anything more than this, it would have been kind of a little bit hard to. Biggest thing, just try to try to not lose that speed on here. The brakes are going to kill me though. I can already feel it. It's going to be tough to really hold this thing. How fast or slow I'm gonna be, man. I'm you know my worst fear is that I'm gonna be super slow out here. Obviously, we're not gonna be as fast as that first guy that we watched, and that's right, I'm okay with that. But as long as we can throw down a good lap, and maybe beat a couple of you guys in the comment section, right? I'll be happy for the day, man. I'm just kidding. Like I said, leave your times down below. 57 coming around. Remember, we're looking for eight minutes. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Not the best. Max speed flying down here. 130. It's going to be real tough to hit this here. I'm going to break just a little bit. I didn't want to, but... The biggest thing is just not making huge mistakes after the fact. You know, once we get so far down the track, every little corner is going to kill us, especially... If Especially if I lose traction and start sliding down and get even more sideways. More sideways, the slower I go. So we want to try to eliminate that and just keep this thing in second and third gear. I don't think I'll have too much of an issue with it, except for, you know, the high speeds. I'll just remember where I am. Right there. Jesus, man, it's so slippery. You guys can see my controller movements on the bottom right. I really was grateful that I did not go right into that wall there. You guys see me lock up all four, and it just it just hucks itself, man. It slides in a totally different direction as soon as you squeeze those brakes tightly. So you gotta be careful not to do that. I don't know if I'm gonna make this eight minutes, man. This is gonna be a real tough run here. 
I'd like to see what Dub gets, to be honest with you. You guys don't know Dub, I talk about him quite a bit. He's also a content creator, YouTube channel down below for you guys. But he plays a lot of GT Sport. A lot of Forza as well, too. So I want to see what this man's time is with it. He's a decent driver, right? I consider him a good driver. Me? I'm an average, right? I don't, I don't play too much to really become decent anymore, I feel like. You know, back, say, 15 years ago when I'm playing these games on you know, night and day, then hell yeah, man, right? You know, I can hold with the best in them, but you stop putting in long hours at night with them, and uh, your skill level starts to, right? It starts to go down a little bit. Not a lot. I'm not saying it's a lot, but... Right, come on. 316. About to open up. I can't a whip ass right now, man. Hopefully, anyways. Watch me just spin out this next corner. Really just trying to stay consistent and not keep these brakes up too much. As I say that, I'm going into the wall. Oh my god. And we have 13 days though to come and redo this. Probably when you guys are watching this, maybe 12 to 10. So make sure you guys get your days set up if you wanted to do this. And again, come on back at any point in time. Tell me your times down below. In the next episode, maybe I'll go through and uh, rate some of them and see who has the top time. And hopefully, if I can just make it around myself, I'll have a time to share with you guys, right? But I gotta make it, though. That's the thing, man. It's, it's a pretty interesting course here, especially when you get to the back end of it. A lot of the corners, uh, they start to look a little bit different, especially on different games, right? Also, if you guys haven't been following Adam Z's channel, uh, he's actually going to the Nuremberg ring, and he's actually gonna throw down his Evo 4, and uh, he's gonna set a time out there, and I'm really excited to see how he does. I'm really confident that, you know, he's just gonna just kill it out there, and, uh, We'll see what he does, man. It's going to be interesting to see the content, but it's content, right? It's just the content's been getting so good on the channel. Just consistent uploads, and it's good quality content. Probably one of the best automotive YouTubers out there doing his thing, man. Adam LZ, you guys haven't checked him out. Down below, can I hold? Thank you. I came right out of the carousel, man. That's so disappointing. 520 currently. We're on pace to beat the world record, man. I'm just kidding. I'm really not. That would be nice, though pull out like a 758 or something like that I'm definitely not going to happen that guy at the start was just whipping it like he made the damn ring right I mean no shit. you don't have that much horsepower to really get into too much trouble right or if you just do one of those and overshoot the corner like myself I've done that a couple times probably going to do it a couple more times but if you can really learn to use the weight of this car you can get through a lot of this, man, and that's where a lot of those fast times are coming from. It's just extreme weight transfers and really just knowing when to give it and when to stay. And I think, right, I think I'm getting the hang. Oh, oh, oh shit, yeah, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Flat out down. You can kind of just tilt the car to where you need to be, let the brake off, and you are right back in the corner here. I like the weight to be. I do like that. I think it was 106 we had on here. Change it up a little bit. I don't know why. Oh, shh. No. Come on. Not good. Not good. 704. We're shooting for an 8. If I can get an 8, I'll be happy. But I gotta make sure I don't screw up again. This is. I got two minutes pretty much to make it back to the start finish on some of the most treacherous spots here on the course. All right, we're on home stretch right now. We need to make it down top speed and uh, hopefully... Come on. Come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Off-road in just a little bit, man. It's okay. Here we go. Cruise control for a little bit. 110. Are we going to be able to get this thing topped out? Let's see. we got a little bit of an uphill grind here. 130. Am I, I don't think I'm going to pull a 9, man. I don't think so. I think I'm going to end up hitting a 9. 9 something. It's going to be close. Maybe I can make it. I got 29 seconds, man. 27. 25. I don't know. It's going to be so tight. It's going to be tough. 839 coming around. Try to just let off just a slight bit. Finish this up nice. We got nine seconds. Come on, I don't think that's gonna happen. Shit, shit. No, 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 no. Ah, 
Uh, we did not get the eight that I was looking for. We're gonna really scrub this damn finish. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. God damn it, man. 911. Oh, whoa. We got our ghost, man. Look at this. If you really want to keep doing it, beat yourself. You can do that also, but. Let's see if we can just at least pass myself here. We are a little more confident behind the wheel here. We're now chasing the ghost at the Nuremberg ring. That's a little tricky. Can I get the pass? Come on, man. Give me the pass. Oh, almost did it again. Yeah, no, that's not good. It's cool. It's like a blurred image, actually. I do like the ghosting effect on this game. Always have. We're going to go fly down into this. Hopefully we can... Uh... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> go ahead there and uh, hit the exit by 911.2. Best time. Let's see where I stand. 2,500. Okay. It's not terrible, all right? I mean, later, but I would I would just squeeze it just a slight bit, and right there, you guys can see it just it locks them right up. So um, I think I can reduce braking pressure in the control settings, or even in the cartoon. I don't even know if that's allowed, kind of given the fact of what we're doing with the, you know this whole qualifying in a uh, one make essentially. So uh, I'm gonna have to look into that later on. But I had a lot of fun with this. I definitely like this qualify ranking system. And leave me your times down below what you guys ended up getting out at the Nuremberg ring, but I had a lot of fun today, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Gran Turismo Sport Update 1.41 out now with a brand new track, brand new game mode. Have some fun with it, man. Send me your photos on Twitter, slap and a score train of GT Sport if you have them. I'll see you guys back here for another episode tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.